Gotcha. Looks right. I'm afraid of fucking up because it's been so such a long time. Like there's one setting or something that I'm missing. I think everything's like it should be. Here we go. Looky here, Mr. Marston. Blackwater. It's a name that's familiar. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we helped the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. <laughs> Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, that hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. You're talking nonsense, wench. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor. Which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. These, these face animations, these PS3 late, what PS3 face animations. Is that we have Dear God. Here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, 
It's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. That's, an, that's another thing, like PS3 controllers, like the handles, the nubs are way shorter than on the PS4, so like my hand just slips from it. And the, the analog sticks are weird as well. Oh, this is weird. Uh, Alright, here we go. on the way. <laughs> there he is. Drunk motherfucker. Oh, he's having a good time. Oh, so far, the controls pretty much. Nope, I don't want to hit you. Oh, goddamn. I was about to say the controls match. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Somewhat. I remember, remember, I remember trying to get into this game. But the I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than armadillo. Fine the controls for the horse kind of threw me off. Not like Steve Slander. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater fig bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you better off not knowing. Yeah, yeah. You don't look much like no blackboarder, fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high pollutant big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but. No, me neither. A fella told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? Hey, you wind him up like a clock. Damnedest thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. Give me Nobody you need to concern yourself with. Never you mind all my questions, Mr. Marston. I just reckon you might be barking out of not heading for the fort. We'll see when we get there. Well, I sure as hell ain't sticking around. Fort Mercer ain't no place for an old man like me to be a dawdling around. Damn 
coyotes, but a waste of good meat. Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> that face. All right. Let's see if we can. I can just leave my horse here. Yeah, this is weird, weird to play after playing uh, the second game. Holy shit. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs Even to kill anyone, actor. Bill. That's cool. You must think I was born yesterday. You always Bill. think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> You implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor John. Good game, good game. So this is like, this is not, this is no more than like a couple of years after uh the sequel which is a prequel but still numbered as a sequel ah i couldn't i didn't remember i, I played through this part before but i didn't remember uh, the guy being bill or dutch being mentioned or anything that's pretty cool Well, John's dead. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I 
I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Ah. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right, here we go. Let me just see. And again, instead. Okay, so the map is basically open. This is Blackwater, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Cool. Ugh, animation has really come a long way, hasn't it? Oh, overly sensitive mod. How you doing, buddy? It's just me today, though. Jason's busy doing something else li way less important. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. I saw you were playing a, a sequel to this, weren't you? I just started the game, yeah. I just finished um, Red Dead Redemption 2, and I wanted to play this because I never There's got around to it. Office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Hello, mister. And don't give me no sass, woman. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Whoa, okay, maybe give me sass. What's going on? Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's try oh. to keep things spoiler-free here. Uh, how, how, how far? You've completed the game or the sequel? General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good oh. for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think actually I chose to go go for the money because in my head I figured Here's I could get ground. it and help That's everyone and and get what the money as well. But I went I'm back no and, and did it again. It certainly looks like uh, a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. To oh, shut up, woman! No. I'm talking to someone. I tr I'm trying to keep this uh, as spoiler-free as possible. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say, but try looking that up if you if you're interesting I interested in that. Uh, <laughs> trying to t on, trying to follow this woman on a horse while. I'm... Oh, Jesus Christ! Station. Where are we going? Things sure have changed since the last 
line finally got finished. Oh, 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 why are we so fast? Is that such a bad thing? <laughs> Holy shit. Hi, folks. I'm John. How you doing? Oh, boy. This horse is a stallion. <laughs> oh, shut up. I was shot, you fool. I'm recovering. But yeah, the, the Red Dead Redemption 2, just to, to finish my thoughts on that game, that's, that's a there. fucking amazing game. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Um, and yeah, yeah, I like what they did with it, I like what they did with the epilogue, and, the uh, Let's stop and that's basically why I'm here right now, You'll playing this no game. From me, Miss McFarlane. Ugh. Get away. Come on, cooperate a bit. Here, here we go. There we go. Come on, this is the only yeah. You're gonna get to rest. Did you see the uh, video game awards? I think Red Dead Redemption got a lot of uh, awards and I deserve it. So I think it's it's my game of the year of last year, definitely. Um, Spider Man being a, a close. And what else? What else came out? Thank you, ma'am. I can't remember. Getting shot, then riding a yeah. horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Easy now. I, you want me to ride that horse? Can you give me another? Jesus Christ. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Let me see. Is this. Uh, it's the same. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Uh, nope. Dark Souls is still a thing and it's still gonna happen. It's just been a bit busy with Look, both of our schedules, but that's yeah. not that's Get not a stopping anytime hands, soon. We're gonna play that game to completion, I think. That's the intention anyway. Let's see that rifle. I want a but of I'm only gonna play party. that when uh when Jason's here. I'm gonna kill rabbits apparently. Basically leaving, do I still have to kill him? We should keep moving. Yeah. There's still a ways to go. Dark Souls is a game uh, we're gonna play together. Oh. So I needed something to yeah. fill the time, I guess. If it's not the Rustler, I'm gonna play some Smash battle. Bros at some point as well. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Come on. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Let's go. Ah. Oh, this is a bit janky. 
Chickens alone. The new Smash Brothers is amazing. Ooh. I've been fucking playing that game. Jesus Christ, I've been playing it a lot. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarlane. This is you, Mr. Marston. Can I get off my horse now, please? Oh, I need to hitch it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't want this horse. I want a new one. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. That big mountain lion down by the river killed another family last night. Right, this game, I don't think this game has, uh, like, saving There's a change of season anywhere else but your, uh, your, your room, if I recall correctly. I played, like, the first hour, I think. But it's way, that's a long time ago. Got anything in here? Yes. Alright. Uh, change outfits. I don't think I have any. Uh, I, oh, I do. Search Coots Chapel, complete Twin Rocks hideout. Okay, so this, the, the outfits is a bit different in this game than in, in the second one. You have to do challenges, I guess. Let me just check the map. I should just sleep. Let's just... Sleep and save and get going. Body. I didn't, I didn't mean to actually jump up there. I thought he was just gonna jump over the fence, whatever. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, Come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take my You give me a proper day, horse, I will. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Have you played this game? Over the sensitive mod? Alright, I'll show you how we ride 
around these parts. Ah, oh, fuck this again. This fucking horse. Uh, right. I don't like you and you don't like me, but we're gonna win this race. You will learn to love me. On the count of three. Three, two, one. That's on the count of one. Go! You should have counted the other way. I trust bitch. you're not gonna be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Let's go. Oh shit, I have no stamina. Oh! Come on. Oh, shit, there's a fence here. Call yourself a dangerous outlaw? No, I don't. I never said that. Come on. This is gonna be close. <sighs> oh my god. Hey. <laughs> I That's I more like it. Come on. Don't die. Come on. I need to be faster. Keep the trash talking you coming, like me John. To slow down? <laughs> Come. I'm just waiting for you to fucking How you hit, doing a, back hit there? a rock. Or a tree. Oh boy. That was close. Are you saving the best for last? Go. Who started all these fires? This is such a, a PS3 era minigame. Like, a race with checkpoints like this. Huh? Let's go! Come on, boy. I haven't been looking in chat because I'm very fucking focused on, on winning this race. I want to win. There it is. There we go. All right. <laughs> that was fun. Woo! Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Oh yeah, I'm famous now. Okay, so we have an M. Um, I'm guessing that's finger. That's bounty hunting missions. Where's Armadillo? Here. So we can get going on that, or we can help out. Let's see, general store and doctor's office. Let me just check out the stores. Is this stamina? Oh, I don't know. I started a black water ledger. Print about a big fire. What's up, sir? Hey, mister. I hope you see something you need. Buy nothing. I have nothing to sell. I hear Nate and John been running for maps and snake oil and ammo and stuff. I guess that's a horse. Yeah, those are probably horses. Thanks a lot. All right, whatever. You know where we are next time you need then there's a doctor. Yes, is that poker? That's probably poker. 
Where's the dock? It's over here. Hey! Medicine, snake oil, chewing tobacco, horse pills, and an apple. Oh, this all sounds familiar to players of the second game. Just can afford. Do I even have any money? I have no <laughs> nothing. Uh, let's talk to Bonnie again. Let's do this mission. I might as well do it since I'm here. Bonnie, pay me, Bonnie. How are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the That's where I'm going seat. anyway. That's great. You've seen me. Oh, fuck. I want to go over here. You've seen me handle the the black horse, and you want to, you want me to do this. What exactly right. are you waiting for? Oh my you're god! Much Shut better, up. Considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, Miss. If you don't mind, can we please return to the road? So do tell oh me. My god. Have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, Miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know <gasps> there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. You just did. Checkmate. I win. sense of humor well you must admit it's an unusual start to a friendship i didn't realize we were friends miss mcfarland oh please now who's being funny listen i know that business with williamson is your business but i don't know you've been good to us and i don't think you're a bad man a little stupid perhaps but not rotten i just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter like paul always says don't go waking snakes I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Uncle. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. First one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Howdy. 
not feeling ill, I hope. Hello there. I'm selling some it's a fine mustache you got there. Completely restores your health. Hell of a storm last month. Hell of a storm. Refills dead eye. Or stamina. Okay. You have any night fevers? Come back and see me. Much obliged. We got iron at the truck. Blessings to you. Hello there. Good to see you again. Press select to open your satchel. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry. War horse, huh? What's this? Why do I have that? Oh, it's the game of the year edition, I guess. Oh, it's fine. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. The nerve. I'm telling you, that Nate Johns is just a front for Southwestern. All right, what we got here? Got a gun shop. What's, what's this? Uh, purchase and rent properties marked with that logo. I have I have zero dollars on me. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. So I'm gonna go talk to the marshal. Oh, that's pretty cool though. Hello. You can do that. Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to aim at you. How do I put this away? There we go. Sorry. That was a, a faux pas. I'm very sorry. Excuse me. Apparently the button you aim with in this right. game is the same you one you just visitors. used to look around in the second game. So I'm gonna aim at a lot of people, I think, before this is over. Shut up, you! Now what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Go on now. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickie. <laughs> What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how 
Some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. Who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Synchronized walking. kind of hole he crawls into. <laughs> Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. What do you mean he spotted me? What the fuck? Where's my horse? Come here. Uh, there we go. Do not kill Walton. Yeah! All right. If Walton's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Jesus! Fucking torpedo horse. Whoa, Are you with me? <gasps> Come on! Come on! Let's go! I see him. Second loop <laughs> of the base. This is over here somewhere. To your right. Behind the crate, Marston. Smoke him up. I'll back you up to hell's back door, Walton. 
Uh, no. I'm just... Lasso! How do I punch? <laughs> what the fuck? Why didn't you tell me how to punch, game? You set me up! Shooting him in the legs. All right, thank you. Walt, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the road for you. <laughs> that was all I had to do. I wasn't supposed to Not fucking shot, knock him out Marcy. or anything. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Twenty bucks. This is looting time. Let's see what we got here. We got a uh, chest with some money in it. I got more money out of that. Holy shit! Okay, let's see. Let's see. Where's the let's go looting? Looting and polluting. Travel the destination feature for camp. Open your satchel with and something something. Okay. So the camp thing is still a feature. What's that? Fucking armadillo. Set. Get out of the way, horse. I'm hunting. Get up. Let's see. Armadillo meat. Carapace. Doesn't. Uh, skinning animals provide all sorts of raw materials which can be sold at shops. You may also find a video to unique uses. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be a, a rating system to the skins in this game. I'm fine with that. 
Um, I think the game wanted me to make a camp so I can quick get back to uh, Armadillo. Let me just get down here and do that. Uh, let's try it out. You can fast travel to any inhabited location you have discovered. Otherwise, you can place a waypoint anywhere on the territory map and then travel to the nearest road. All right. So I can change outfits, I can save, and I can travel. I don't want this. This looks stupid. Let's save first and foremost. And then let's go somewhere. Uh, the ranch and armadillo, I guess it's the ones I have. Let's go to armadillo first. Five finger fillets. Oh, one sec. God damn. Oh, was running out of power. We can't have that. We can't have that. Ah, uh, okay. It's night. What's this over here? Uh, what's going on here? What's happening? No, Holy shit! All right, so you, you're just the stagecoach, right? Why are you marked with a? Eh, yeah, stagecoach, gunsmith, bbd bbd -bee boop, movie house. All right, let's get back to the marshal. Yeah, let me just check if there's any guns I can get or anything. Please feel free to browse my selection. Murphy, if the gun shop lost his hey, get over here. I won't sell want to buy something. Thugs, whatever the profits may be. I know it's late, but I want to buy a gun. Uh, let's get this bounty poster. Farewell. Oh, the inside? What? That's a clock. That's not, um... Where's this fucking poster? Oh! <laughs> there it is. Uh... Mo Van Bar. Walton uh, Gang. Assault at Mercer Station. I get more if I get him alive. Let's, let's take the bounty. Get over here, you crazy stallion. Come on. We have some some kneecaps to shoot off. Christ, you're fast.
Maybe I should mark him on my map. Beep. See, there we go. I, I figured I was taking the wrong way. Some guy. Hey, stop. Might kill me. Oh. Shit, I get him? Just stay the fuck down. Don't die. Please, how do I? <laughs> it was a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. You're dead. <laughs> What do I do? I'm sorry you couldn't be financially ah. Don't shoot me. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. I'm well, you too. You Just get on my horse. Reward, sir. It was a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. Shut I'm up. Sorry you couldn't How be do financially I? Reward, sir. It was a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. Shut up. I'm sorry you couldn't be financially rewarded, sir. It was a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm sorry you couldn't be financially rewarded, sir. It was a pleasure to you make your me again, acquaintance, kick you. sir. I'm sorry yes. you couldn't be financially rewarded, sir. It was a pleasure <sighs> to make your acquaintance, sir. I'm sorry you couldn't now be what? financially rewarded, sir. It was a Get pleasure my to horse. make your uh. I'm sorry you yeah, that's shut you up, huh? Rewarded, sir. It was a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. <laughs> well, I guess I killed him. Fucking hell. I don't have a... I don't have a lasso. I don't know... Should I have done it from the... Horse, maybe? I don't fucking know. Hey! Oh god, you. You. Fist. I honestly don't know how I should have done that without killing him. Ugh, whatever. Fuck it. What's this? Some enemies? Great. I'm killing. <laughs> I was looting. I hope it's the horse at least. That's fucked up. Just wanted to loot the body. Jesus Christ. Get over here, horse. You're seeing what I can do now. Oh my god, what the? How many of you? Did you kill my horse? Oh <laughs> no! No! This is so bad. Oh my god! Everything's falling apart. Oh lord! This is nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna. How am I gonna explain this to Bonnie? <laughs> Shit! I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna walk through the desert. 
Oh great, coyotes now? Oh no, <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Let me take your horse, actually. Oh, hi. You're making a big mistake, friend. Where's your horses? Excuse me, mister. Oh god, this bounty mission is a mess. There's a horse. Hey, horsey! <laughs> Go. Get over here. You're mine now. Yeah, there we go. Oh fuck, more people's coming. Get to Armadillo, please. Him, but he didn't want to come, so uh, Why me? Oh, I have a horse. What's going on here? What's this horse? Hey, get over here. Is that the one I just stole? It is. All right, deadly assassin. Is an outfit. Capture, kill, move, and bar. I need to win, win a duel. All right. We have a train. Oh, that's the that's the mission that they wanted me to do. All right. It's in here somewhere. Or is it you? They took my boy! My boy! Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll Ow. bring him back Whoa. to you. Shit, sorry. I feel like I shouldn't get too attached to uh, this one either. The way they've been killing them off. What's this place? Over here? Yeah, I'll find you, boy.
Anyone else want some? Come on. <laughs> There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. Thanks, mister. I can use a little luck. Challenges. Uh, you have a try to locate the treasure somewhere in New Austin. Open your satchel and choose the treasure map item from the kit menu. Complete challenges, blah blah blah. Alright, stranger missions. And brief. Alright. So it's whoa, whoa. up there? I'm way past, what the fuck? I need to get, like, get over here. What's what, what what stupid map? That's not helping Go. me at all. Here we go. Where's the boy? Let's go. Oh, this this doesn't look good. Slow up. Can't exactly see him. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. This is uh, one of the side missions. Strange appetites, I think. American appetites. It's also one of the ones I need to do to get a new outfit. I need to, I guess, check back at the sheriff's office. Probably some cannibals or something, based on the description. But boy, did my first bounty hunting not go smooth. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it was kind of a fun experience. I, could, I couldn't figure out how to get the guy back in one piece, so I just killed him. I'm gonna go back and do another mission for the marshal. What is? What's that? Perfect. Oh, I get to pick flowers here as well. Okay. Wild fever few. You have started the first rank of the survivalist challenge. Couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get the bounty done without killing him. Is there a lasso? I haven't figured out how to. Do I need to buy that or? Oh, 
Oh, that's the... That's how you punch. Okay. Boop. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider... I haven't been to the Nate movie uh, theater here yet. Nope. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> We've gotten but I will. Me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal, I've just been up in the camp, <laughs> spying the like fuck? you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men <laughs> rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. No. <laughs> you ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Eli. I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Boom. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. boys we're probably gonna be outnumbered and those bastards ain't short on firepower neither let's see how many there are if we can take them alive good if not smoke the sons of bitches music to my ears marshal See shit. That's one. You got one. <laughs> okay, boys. It really helps that, that the vertical floor. turns red in the second right. game. Marston, you can come with me or go with them. I'm going right. Come 
couple of the rat bastards. <laughs> the Wilhelm scream. What the fuck? Surrender! Or I'll kill you all! Looks like we got him. Wow. Let's move on. Stick with me. Come on! Pull foot, Marston! There's our boy on the other side. Ah, damn it! He's a fast man. Being so fucking old. Oh, that's a <laughs> bad guy. Sorry. Come on, let's clear out that camp. Watch yourself. Looks like they have some backup. Put down your guns and surrender. There's one more for the vultures. That bastard won't be rustling no more. Good shooting, Marston. Looks like there's some ammunition lying about if you need it. I'll meet you up on the ridge. What have we got here? It will allow you to be treated like one of their gang in Hennigan's stead, huh? I might have the dead eye ability. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe I can see in controls. Let's see. Dead eye, dead eye, dead eye, dead eye. Dead eye. Is it like. Yep, yeah, I have it. I have it. Ammunition. Let's push it. Watch out. Looks like there's a couple of snipers over there. God damn it. Take out those snipers, boy. Come on. Give them hell. Where? I don't see him. There's the Come on. Oh, there's one. Ow. Wait a sec, this is the exact area that uh, is a mission in the second game, that's fun. Ow, we're shooting. Ow, what the fuck? Where else the other guy? Hmm. there all right this looks as good a spot as any gather around and listen up let's try to sneak up on them the closer we are the less chance they have of making a run for it You don't fucking touch Eli. Not a single hair in his head. Or well, I will. I swear to God, clobber you all. He's precious to me. Who the fuck is that? That's not one of ours, is it? Those are bad guys, right? Good 
You guys got it. I'm just gonna loot a bit. one of ours <laughs> oh sorry sorry sir how the fuck did you get down there so fast looks like the ballers won't be rustling again anytime soon quick let's get those hostages free <sighs> thanks marshal we're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Dangerous diggings can be found in Chola Springs. Chola. What? Oh, there it is. Let's see what you got. An awful lot of money. Um, I'm thinking too much Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. I don't really need to look through the camp, I think. In the same way that I had to in that game. So let me just see. Outfits? Oh, I'm almost close to, uh, to home. What else we got? We got the ball mission. We got the... Another stranger mission. Got the house over here. Dee 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 dee. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get back, let's get back to Bonnie. Talk to her. So let's make a camp f uh, fire. I'm just, uh, let me look at this. <laughs> I'm being indecisive right now. Ugh, that's not really helping me, is it? What the fuck is this? This could be anywhere. Come on. There's a noose. Is that like a... A clue? Is that like a... Nooseman's rock or something? <laughs> Hmm. 
Nah. Never mind. Oops. Meat from an armadillo of low value. Well, maybe there is a... A rating system. Alright. Time to get out anyway. Ah, fuck it out right there. Not that far. Bananas. Is the general store closed? There we go. Thank you. Now I have some money. Let's see what you got. Uh, a survivalist map. What's this? Displays all towns, settlements, landmarks, and hideouts in Hennigan's stead. I kind of want that. Let's get that. Twin mints. No, fuck that. I'm not going to do that now. Five snake oils for... 30 bucks? Spread the word. That's a deal. That's, That's a steal. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. Nice Alright. Bonnie. If you want to raise me again, I will leave immediately. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, Call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. He 
Eddie's eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry about the other horse. It's not there anymore, is it? Uh, yeah, this is my new horse. Don't worry about it. It looks like Come yours, on, but uh... Let's get these cows moving! Alright, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever Good asked. Good to see you, Miss McFarland. Easy now. All right, let's see if you can herd cows as well as you can charge humanity. Get, 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 get. Hey, you, you. Get back in line. Come on, easy up now. Let's go. We got this. No straddlers in my Man, company. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get it. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch.
Hmm. Kind of want to go into Armadillo and see what kind of weaponry I can buy and stuff. Maybe I could go to. Yeah, let's let's go there. I'm okay. Town. Are you gonna duel? What the? F oh shit! What the fuck's going on over here? Hey, St stop him! Is he okay? Are you okay? Jesus Christ! I mean, why didn't why didn't you fucking do something? You have guns. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a bottle. <laughs> Sorry. Well, welcome to Amadillo, I guess. Oh, now you want to sell me something, huh? We got the second Let's see, what you got? Reason, don't we? Bandolier doubles ammo capacity on rifles and repeaters. Older model lever action pistol. Hmm. Bait. Ammo, ammo. Uh... Yeah, let's buy some bait. And Ooh, I want to buy a bandolier, though. Why not? We can afford it. We can afford it. There's another bounty down here. Maybe I should figure out how to not kill him first. Newspaper as well. Um, people missing. I guess all this is stuff like hints to what to do. I'm not gonna read through this right now. <laughs> Tobacco fights tuberculosis. I'm, I, I'm gonna maybe do read it at some other point and figure out if there's anything there. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go for this Charles smash. How the horse just appears out of thin air. It's up here, huh? The hanging rock. Is that in any way related to my treasure map? Hmm? Let's see when we get there.
Oops. I didn't mean to. Hold it right there. You know how this is gonna end. Yeah, this is the place on the map. This is definitely a pink. Place of, I think the place on the map. Get up my horse. I want him to kill it. Right? I can still still bring him in. <laughs> How could I bring him in? You fucker! Come! Come here! Come here! I want you alive! Come here, horse. Where is he? What if I shoot him in the leg? Hey, just come with me. This is gonna hurt otherwise. Let me do this. You give up? Ah, oh, he's dead. God fucking damn it. Ah, whatever. Back to that hanging rock thing. I think that's what's on my map, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, that definitely looks like it. So there's a couple of rocks near the tree on the other side of the... I'm gonna get chased down now, aren't I? Uh, let's just see if I can make it. Doesn't appear to be stamina in any way. Or when I run. These rocks? Nah. Let me get a look again. It's nearby, but it's like the top. Uh... Johnny, don't mind me. God damn it, where could be could it be here? What's uh Ugh. Is it it's like a bit away? Trying to decipher this. I think I'm on the right side. Like to my eyes, it's down here. Somewhere. It's you or me, friend. So 
Doesn't fit what I'm seeing. Ah, uh, maybe I should do this another time. Maybe I should just get back to town with what I have. I can I can look for the treasure later. Because these guys just keep coming. Yeah, fuck this. Get out of here. Problem. I'm gonna go to the general store and see if there's like a lasso or something. Well, look at you. This establishment. Hello there. Rabbit's, Rabbit's foot. Help our American families. Ooh. So out of this map. Horses. I'm gonna buy the rabbit's foot. And I think that's it. For now. Unless you want to start working for pepper guts. Jobs and towns pay twice as much. That's great. Hey, doggy. How you doing? How much is this place? Let's see the price. I'm sorry? What is up with this town? Jesus Christ, I just want to look at some real estate. It's not even that expensive. It's fifty. I don't. I can't pay it for it right now. But, but that's not that bad. <laughs> Ooh! Oh my God! He fell down. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I think I am going to uh, help out Bonnie one more time, and then I think we're gonna take a break. If you think you can handle it, Mister, I'll set the horses. Oh, what were you eating? And the guy just left. All right. Fair enough.
I see the train. <laughs> no, no, please. Don't shoot! What? A, put, 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 put away your gun! God damn it! I didn't mean to. <sighs> I'm just gonna go out and make a camp, <laughs> and then, and then I'll get there. What? What, what happens if I use it? Oh, I had to use it to open up the fast travel. Barney! What's this? You're gonna help the ranch hands patrol McFarlane's ranch. Alright. Is there an outfit uh, connected with this place? Complete a night watch job. I guess that's it, right? Claim Apollo Twins gang bounty alive. I don't know how to do that. I'm sorry. I'll figure it out for next time. Barney! Come back later, all right, I'll go to sleep then. Let's do a horseshoes first. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Hey. Whoa, mister. Everyone is going blind in this town. Hello. You've done this before. How do you toss? Push R up and down. You can aim left and right. All right, R two to release. <laughs> Aim was good though. Huh. Ah. Good. I seen Grandma throw bears. 
Hey, you didn't fucking get it either, you fucker. I'm gonna bet one dollar. <laughs> Wow, and you trash talked me before. Jesus Christ. All right. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Too much. All right. So who got close? Uh. All right. That's pretty good. That's better. Mm. Ah. That's a beautiful Ooh. God damn, that's good. Too far? <laughs> All right. Why? What? <sighs> Why? I don't. I don't get it. Why is the ridicule different? Is it because I'm left-handed or right-handed or something? I know, I know, I know. I get one point though for the other one. You suck, Gus. Joke. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I'm still closer. Not by far, though. Are we gonna go to 11? That's a lot. There we go. Got this in the bag.
That's too far. No, it's not. Oh my god. Did I actually get it? <sighs> so close. I'm available for private tutoring. Will you look at that? Will you look at that? Just need one more point, Gus. You're falling behind. There we go. Wait, what? Did I get them all yet? Ah, oh, I guess I have one more to go. Come on. That's pretty good. That's gotta be it, right? I am a loser. Just like a <laughs> I win a dollar. <laughs> cool. Okay. Enough horsing around. It's fine, Barney. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. I've had whole herds of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. And you're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Huh? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> you're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. 
There's that fucking lasso. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. I needed that for my bounties. God damn it. Alright. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the but ride? But I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Shut up, I'm fucking aiming you fuck. <laughs> you almost got in the way. Get yeah. under that rope, Parson! Sounds. My horse Timmy sounds. Easy there. Oh my God! Relax. Come on, nearly got you. There we go. You got him eating out of your hand. Come on, boys. <laughs> nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ranch. Let's go. I like your father. Here, the life I want for me and my family. I mean, we don't have a lot anymore. You have enough, it's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired. Then, some deck must be shy a joker, Miss McFarland. The sass I have to deal with, Jesus Christ. That was fun! I think you could be a fine rancher one day, if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. You 
never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead. See you there, miss. Slow down. Right, fuckers. Come on. Yeah. Yeep, yeep, yeep. My taming noises are the same as my cattle driving noises. Yeep, 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 yeep. Oh, I'm gonna break you. Steady. That's it. You're mine now. Easy now, easy now. Hold me down. John, you got this. There we go. I want this horse now, this is mine.
Don't get jealous. Come on. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own? As a thank you from all of us. I will. You, He's a fine animal. How do I make it mine? Um, I wonder. How much money do I have? Oh, 23, that's not really enough, is it? I wanted to buy the place in Armadillo. But I can't. That's going to be next time. I am going to head on back here. I'm going to ride and see if I can snatch up some animals on the way. Oh wait, I'm at Hanging Rock. Treasure? This is not this isn't what it looked like. What have we got here? You better hide it, someone's shooting at you. I guess I got the, the treasure anyway. Yeah, this is another one. What does it say? Rio del Lobo. It's a camp. Then you go down or something or whatever. Christ, these horses are so fast. Let's see. Let's get this over with. Like I shot that one a lot. If this is bad quality meat and stuff. Master Hunter Challenge. All right. Skin five coyotes. Collect six wild fever few. I like that. I like the challenges. I see him on my map now. The maybe, maybe not. Strange mission there. Oh, there's a lot of strange missions. Mm. 
but I am heading home right now. If I can get to my horse. We'll start on the coyotes. Get back here. Come on. Just thinking about shooting the dog and skinning it, but <laughs> probably a bad idea. Is the general store still open? At this ungodly hour? How are you? Well, hello there. Without it, Mr. That bond is It would appear so. What do you got for me? Sure you find something you like here. Ammo and horses still. Alright. I think I'm gonna go... Nah, I'm not gonna play poker now. I'm gonna go in and save and make sure everything's alright in here. And I'm gonna call it... A day. Alright, there we go.